the award. Let's head back to the broadcast booth in Vancouver. John Kelly, Darren Pang, rejoin us now for that very big announcement, guys. All right, Pat, thank you very much. Time for the weekly Panger Award. And the birthday boy, of course, is right here. And the little birthday boy will be presented to some <laughs> blues recipient. And I wonder who it's going to be. Well, he hurt his neck, this little fella. He's been banged up a little bit. It's a gritty, it's a gritty time to give this out because the goaltenders union loves me for this. Why wouldn't I lean towards Jake Allen? Why wouldn't I? The kid comes in and he wins in Detroit. But we're going to start it with his victory in Calgary. Many splendid saves. Is it going to be the save of the year? I ask you this question. On the tic-tac, tic-tac-toe and the casual play by Jake Allen, even Roberto Luongo makes a comment saying that's the best save of the year so far. Now you go into Vancouver. Pretty tough place to play. You got the Sedins spinning all over the place. I mean, you need a bobblehead just to keep up with the Sedins and where they are on the ice. Then you got Burroughs in overtime on a breakaway. Glove saved by Allen again. And that's why Jake Allen, and I know his grandpa Murph is sitting out there too in Eastern Canada, and he's saying to himself, when is Jake going to win a Panger bobblehead doll? Allen family, you've got it. Jake, at a boy. Good stuff right there. We're going to FedEx this Panger Award right to Frederick to New Brunswick, where I would doubt they've ever had a Panger Award in Frederick to New Brunswick. No, no, it'll probably be special going on there. Probably, you know, armored cars and the whole thing, but it, it's going to get there. All right, can, Jake congratulations. Will be a happy camper. Good job. Thanks. Very buddy. good job. Happy birthday again. Pat, that's the Panger Award. Back to you in St. Louis. All right, and Panger, a happy birthday again. Jamie, what? Here we have here is my cell phone next to the actual life size Panger Award. And uh, also, I have to wish Panger a happy birthday to the second most famous bald guy to have his birthday today next to Michael Jordan. Wow, a couple of shots, I believe, at, uh, at the diminutive one, Darren Pang, who will retaliate next time he sees you down at the rink, I'm sure, somehow, some way. Uh, from a goalie who made his uh, career uh, as a broadcaster, Darren Pang, let's talk about the guy who's making a name for himself right now, Jake Allen, and he certainly is deserving of the Panger Award. Yeah, he really is. I mean, he's a guy that, uh, you know, he came in on this road trip, and uh, we talked about it all night long. They needed something to generate a buzz for that team. They needed to get back on track. And Ken Hitchcock, you know, he kind of plays a little game of roulette here and decides to go with the young kid on the road. Turns out to be a fantastic decision. Mentioned before, he's not the coach of the year for nothing. He gets a guy in there. Kid plays great, standing on his head. He's oozing confidence through the end of this game and uh, takes us right to a 3-0 and here on the road, back home here now, that hopefully they can get their stuff back together and treat the fans to some wins here at home. Let's get back uh, up to Rogers Center, uh, Rogers Arena, I should say, now as our Hall of Famer Bernie Federico moments ago caught up with Jake Allen, who is the recipient of the Panger. Bernie? Well, thanks, Pat. Jake, uh, does this get any easier for you? First, the third start now, three wins. No, it's, uh, it's not any easier. It's just uh, still another game. You don't want to be prepared for 60 minutes and... Uh, Whatever comes out, you got to be ready. You know, it's uh, we wanted to end up this road trip uh, strong and head back home and take the momentum with us. So uh, it was a huge win for us. For you, uh, first time in a shootout at, at this level here. What uh, did you have some idea what the shooters were going to do against you? You watch a little bit of the stuff from last year, but uh, for me, I just try to react. You know, the guys are so skilled at this level, you can't just guess what they're going to do. You got to be uh, predictable and patient. And, uh, try to outweigh them. You try to make them make the first move and uh, and just go from there. We go into overtime, Burroughs gets a breakaway. What are you thinking as he's coming in on you? Yeah, you know, he's, he's got a lot of speed, so he had a lot of speed built up and uh, hit the puck out in front of him, and our D-man was right on the tail, so I don't think he had much time to shoot it, so uh, I sort of had an idea he was going to deke, and then uh, sort of just waited to make a move and got over there and uh, got my glove on it. Is it getting easier for you as far as the nervousness? Uh, you told me in Calgary that it was a little easier than in Detroit. Was this a little easier here tonight? Yeah, it was, it was a little bit easier, but you know, the Vancouver crowd, it's uh, one of the best buildings in the in the NHL to play in. Uh, I've always wanted to play here as a kid, so I uh, had a little bit of nerves coming into this game and uh, facing Roberto Luongo, someone I looked up to uh, growing up, was. Uh, but uh, once I got my feet wet, I was fine. Congratulations, Jake. Great job. Thank you. Guys, a, a huge job by Jake Allen tonight. Uh, big win for the Blues here. It'll be a happy flight tomorrow going back to St. Louis. Back to you guys in the studio. Bernie, thank you very much. Our Bomberito Automotive Group uh, scoreboard will just look around the rest of the league. And uh, from today, you see uh, the Penguins pulling it out in Buffalo 4-3. Boston, a one-goal winner against Winnipeg. Uh, Minnesota does take care of the Red Wings, and uh, that uh, certainly helps out the Blues cause right there. Yeah, absolutely. Anytime you can... Uh 
gain some ground or at least push a little distance between you and a division rival here, it, it, it's a positive thing. And one more note about the, the Blackhawks victory. That pushes their uh, unbeaten streak in regulation to 15 games now. So they've had at least a point in every game of the 15 to start a season. That's one shy of the 06-07 Ducks NHL record.